everyone and welcome back to another Sutton Parish Daily Prayer video with me, Mikey. Uh, I'm recording from home today because the internet in my office is um, broken. I can't connect to it, so uh, that's the first thing. <laughs> I pray for that. Um, but other than that, we're not going to let that stop us. So I've, I've come home to uh, my very comfy yellow couch and um, we're going to pray here instead. So uh, before we uh, kick off, we're going to be talking about um, offence today. Um, it's it's a it's quite a you know a highly topical term, and and it's I'm not going to be talking about some of the things that we are offended by here in our um, own human uh, nature. You know, like being called names, or if you know someone does something particularly offensive. Uh, one of the things that I want to talk about is is what is Jesus offended by? So. Um, and that's what we're going to be looking at after we hear today's passage. Matthew 11, verses 2 to 6. When John, who was in prison, heard about the deeds of the Messiah, he sent his disciples to ask him, Are you the one who is to come, or should we expect someone else? Jesus replied, Go back and report to John what you hear and see. The blind receive sight, the lame walk, those who have leprosy are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, and the good news is proclaimed to the poor. Blessed is anyone who takes no offence at me. So there we have it in, in Matthew 11, verses 2 to 6. And it's important to note that in this passage, what we have is Jesus is responding to John the Baptist. So John the Baptist is in prison and John the Baptist has sent his disciples to Jesus to get some word out, to maybe get a bit of hope. Because John the Baptist is in prison because... He's been proclaiming that the Messiah is coming, that there's going to be a new king. And obviously the authorities at the time didn't really like that. So John the Baptist is looking for a bit of hope from Jesus. He's asking, is the Messiah here? Is Jesus the one who is the Messiah? And now the thing is, John the Baptist has been proclaiming this in the desert, that Jesus is the Messiah and, and you know the Messiah is the one who is coming. And what we get is a, a response from Jesus that doesn't say yes or no, but John will know that Jesus is the Messiah by the things that Jesus responds with. So he says, you know, go back and report to John what you hear and see. The blind receive sight, the lame walk, those who have leprosy are cleansed, the deaf hear. The dead are raised. The good news is proclaimed to the poor. And, you know, it's almost like Jesus is saying, is the Messiah here? Come on, what do you think? All of this is happening. Um, and and so, so that's, that's the context for the passage. But the, um, but the next verse is one that really um, got me thinking. It's, it's um, blessed is the one who takes no offense at me. Blessed is the one who takes no offence at me. And and that is, is such a, a term for us to think about because, you know, first of all, when I think of blessed is the one or blessed is anyone, I think as that passage says, um, I think back towards the Beatitudes, you know, where Jesus says, blessed are the poor, for the, you know, theirs is the kingdom of heaven, you know, blessed are the meek, etc., etc. So, what we get is almost like another beatitude. So what Jesus is saying for, for his disciples and anyone listening or anyone who knows about the sermon that Jesus preached on, on the mount, the, that famous sermon on the mount, Jesus is saying that this is another principle for you to take into your lives and live by. It says, blessed is anyone who takes no offense at me. So that got me thinking what would Jesus be offended by? And, and what does it mean to take offense at Jesus? Well, Jesus gives us the answers. It, it says, and like, and in, in, in that list, Jesus gives us the answers. The blind receive sight, the lame walk, those who have leprosy are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, and the good news is proclaimed to the poor. So when we 
take offence at Jesus. Like, when I think about taking offence, I step back and go, oh, like that, oh, I can't, really? Is that happening? I, I don't think so. I don't, want that. I don't want to be a part of that. So it's an invitation from Jesus for us to, to go into those areas where there is most need. So, and it doesn't even have to be like a physical cleansing, like let's say, for example, of leprosy. So, for example, for those who had leprosy in Jesus's time, they would have been considered ceremonial, ceremonially unclean. So that would have meant that um, they wouldn't be allowed anywhere near the temple. It meant that they wouldn't have been allowed to be part of regular society, you know, um, for the blind to receive sight it, it would mean that you know that their their physical needs could could be met it, it it would mean that um you know they could have a bit of autonomy that they they could have a bit of independence or for 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 the for the deaf to hear or for people to hear the good news it would be to give people freedom to live in and it's not even just like the physical dead are raised like don't think that what i'm preaching here at you is is for you to go and go and raise the dead. Although, you know, we can talk about that another time. But at the same time, Jesus recognises that people are living in darkness, people are living in death, and the, the news that the Messiah comes to give is one that gives life. And so when John the Baptist asks Jesus what's going on, Jesus responds with, don't worry, people are receiving life. You know, the blind are seeing you know, people are being cleansed. You know, people are given a community again. People are um, gaining back some some of their, you know, self-respect. And, um, you know, people are coming together in love. And, and I think that that's such an important thing because to take offence at any of those things will be to take offence at Jesus because that's what Jesus did, does. <laughs> that, that is what Jesus does. You know, he, he's the God of reconciliation. He's the God of, of raising people from death to life, and, and not just in a physical sense. You know, he, he is the one who gives us purpose. He's the one who, who makes us see what's really important. He's the one who helps us to hear our brothers and sisters when they are in need. You know, and, and blessed is the one who takes no offense at that. Blessed is the one who fully immerses themselves in that lifestyle, in that beatitude of not taking offence at Jesus. So at the end of today's video, we are going to pray. And we're going to pray for ourselves, but we're also going to pray for others. So do join me. So dear God, we thank you for today's passage. We thank you for the lessons that are learned. And we thank you for the beatitude, that principle of living by a um a code which means that we are not offended by the things that you want to do in both our lives and the lives of everyone around us god help us to be a beacon of inclusion help us to be a light of, of love in everybody's life god where there is need god we pray that we wouldn't be the ones who are blind but you would open our eyes to where need is and help us to fill it. Lord God, we pray to you, the, the, the Father of all creation, that you would give us the same heart and that same love for everyone around us. But where there is hurt and where there is exclusion, where there is isolation, help us to be part of that healing, we pray. And anything that you ask us to do, God, we pray that we embrace it and we wouldn't be offended by it. Amen. Thank you.